suppressor materials matter. With the huge, huge influx likely of suppressors getting on the menu because of their deregulation, we're going to talk a little bit about what to consider when purchasing a suppressor. Right here in this RC3, you have a really interesting metal called Inconel. Inconel is one of the most expensive to purchase out of, and it's also the most heavy because it's dense, but it is by far one of the best performing when it comes to heat. In our testing, this was 200, potentially even 300 degrees cooler after the same rate of fire as any other cans, minus a few, and there's some design issues to consider when you're looking at that, but Inconel is kind of the creme de la creme, in a lot of people's opinion, when you talk about a high durability, high rate of fire can. Stainless steel has been the chad of chads for a long time prior to 3D printing, uh, and the big reason why is cost. It is a very durable uh, material. It's used in a lot of other uh, gun parts, which is why this is still really favored and really well used here. It also keeps cost down, uh, but it's still not that much lighter than Inconel is, so you don't get as much benefit uh, when going from one material to the other. But the weird oddball, and likely the most controversial, is titanium. There is no discussion whatsoever that titanium is by far the lightest metal you can do. The only downside is one flash, and we've consistently seen titanium cans flash more than others, and also heat. These tend to get hotter way faster, so if you're looking at something that you're gonna put a high uh, round count in in a very short amount of time, this is maybe not something you wanna do, but for hunting, probably perfect, but that is a big reason why